hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial we will learn how to create glass movism a product card design using all html and css as you can see here on my computer screen i have three uh, different background colors you can see this amazing uh, background color also you can see here i have three different cards with different uh, product image so we'll create this using all html and css so you can see here i have this amazing button and also we have this uh, image shoe image also we have the size and the color of the shoe also you can see this button there's some beautiful hover effect so we'll create this using only html and css so before starting this video please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos so without wasting time let's start the video hello guys welcome back again so here I have created one folder called Glassmovism product card. In this folder I have three images that I'll be using to create this product product card. So we are going to open this folder with our VS code. So just say open with code. For me I'm using a Visual Studio code. For you maybe Sublime. So but for me I'm using open with code. So We are going to create our first uh, file that is index.html Again let's create our second file that is style.css Now here in my index.html I'm going to write the basic html structure I'm going to give it a title Second, we're going to link our two files together. So I'll use link CSS. So now you can see we have automatically, it automatically connected our style.css with HTML. So here in our style.css, we need to import one thing. So go to your browser, search Google font. Click the first link. And search your favorite font. I'm going to pick this one. So here I'm going to choose some font and I'm going to uh, select my style. So the first one is I'll pick 300. Second, I'll pick 400 regular. Also, I'll pick medium 500, 600 bold, 700 bold, 800 extra bold, and lastly, I'm going to pick this black 900. Now, we don't need the link, we actually need to import to our style.css, so I'll just copy this line of codes. So, here, let's just paste it in our style.css save, save that for now again come back to your index.html here i'm going to create my first div that is i'm going to create one div with a class name card or let's change it to section because we need to create three sections of product cards so in this section we're going to add one container one div with a class container next we'll create one more div with a class name card let's create one more div with a class name img bx that's our class Next, again, I'm going to create one div for our, and I'm going to give it a class img for our images. And I'm going to add img source.
now for all the images i'm going to give it in my video link description so that you can also download and follow this tutorial let's create one div with a class name content again we're going to create one div with a class name size here i'm going to use h3 tag After H3 tag, we're going to add three span tags. Copy. And here we're going to add numbers for the size, shoe size. So I'll just pick random numbers like seven, eight, nine, and 10. I think that will be perfect so next what we need to do is we need to add colors so i'll just create one div with a class name color then i'm going to add a three tag again and then i'll add color again we're going to do span so so now we have three span tag next after this div tag we need to add a button so I'm going to use anchor tag and here we're not going to add any link so I'll give it no link next we need to add our text that is by now so save this let's go let's go back to our folder open your folder now you're going to open this and to do a um, product card with our browser so simply double click that index rotation email now you can see we have our product image the size and the color and also we have our button by now come back to your code again we're going to create two more cards so from from this one div uh, that we've created class card copy from this up to here also we need to change our image again paste it also change your image now if we save this and refresh our browser we're going to have three product images the size and color and also our button now come back to your vs code now we're going to add some styling so for that i'm going to start by styling my body so firstly we're going to write the basic css structure that is giving the margin zero padding zero also we're, not, we're going to add font family box sizing casa pointer next i'm going to style my section display justify content align items min height background also we are going to say overflow hidden padding box sizing again i'm going to say 
my class section and I'm going to use before so yeah we, we're going to add content and we're not going to add anything so I'm going to give it I'm going to leave it blank next we'll add position to be fixed also we need to add top zero left zero width of 100 percent also we'll add height of 100 percent background clip path circle negative 20 percent so now if we save this load the web page now you can see we have our two background our color we have the background color so i'm going to do after now so i'll just say section then we're going to choose after here i'm going to copy the whole of this So here I'm going to change my background color to be blue. So I'll just try this color code. Also here we're going to make it 100%. And we're going to give this 0 at 0%. 0 also we'll change this to 35. Now if we save this, load the web page. You can see we have our color from opposite direction come back to your code i'm going to style my container here i'm going to give it position to be relative z index 10 display flex justify content center align items center this should be center also i'm going to say flex wrap to be wrap again say container card so now we are going to style our card so i'll just add position to be relative width of 300 pixel height of 400 pixel also margin 20 pixel by 40 pixel display to be flex also i'm going to say justify content to be center again align items next what we need to add is flex direction background also we are going to say box shadow 10 pixel 25 pixel and we're going to add color backdrop filter
so let's save this and refresh our web page you can see our product card is coming up so we need to add more styling so again i'm going to say container card and here i'm going to edit my img image I'm going to add position to be relative again also we need to say display flex Justify content to be center, align items, flex direction, padding of 20 pixel. Also, we're going to add transition. Is in out. So next, we need to style is our image so i'm going to say container again and i'm going to add hover effect on our card so here i'm going to add transition or you can just say transform which is okay i'm going to use translate y Native 100 pixel. Again, come here, say container, cut. Now, here I'm going to edit my image, product image. So, for our product image, I'm going to add max width of 100%. Also, I'm going to say margin to be 0, 0. By 20 pixel also we're going to add transition is in out also we're going to say display to be block I'm going to add margin top of negative 50 pixel so next we need to add is I'm going to copy the all of this Plus, add it here. Also, we're going to style our IMG again. So here, I'm going to say transform, translate. Also, we need to add scale. So here we have added uh, translate, rotate, and scale. So for our scale, I'm going to give it a value of 1.4. Next, again, come here. Say container, card. Here, I'm going to style my content. Remember, if we go back to our index rotation we have created a uh, this class called content so for my content I'm going to give it position relative or you can just change the position to absolute next we'll add bottom justify content align items center Flex direction to be column. Also, I'm going to add transition. Opacity, zero. Visibility, hidden. Copy this class. So here I'm going to add opacity one, 
visibility this time i'm going to say visible also lastly i'm going to add transform i'm going to say transform translate y negative 50 pixel next i'm going to say container card content here i'm going to style my class size so you're going to do both the size and the color so just copy this comma so here we're dealing two different classes that is size and color so here i'm going to say display to be flex justify content center align items padding 8 pixel by 20 pixel again copy the all of this so guys here we are just going to copy the whole of these classes and we need to style our h3 tag for our headings so i'll paste it here and i'll add each h3 tag space h3 space h3 so here we are going to add color white also we'll add font weight of 300 also we need to add is font size 14 pixel next we'll add text transform to be uppercase also we'll add letter spacing of 2 pixel lastly i'm going to add margin right to be 10 pixel so now if we save this and reload our web page you can see we have our three images but just come back here and we're going to do some correction so this img is not a class change that one now save this reload your web page you can see we have our images in a smaller size come back here so next we're going to do is we need to style our span so for that i'm just going to copy again but this time i'm going to remove this uh, size not size sorry we're going to add the span tag now for our span tag i'm going to add width of 26 pixel also we'll add height of 26 pixel next we'll say text align text align to be center also we'll add line height of 24 pixel next we'll add this display inline block next we'll add color for my color i'm going to choose black next is we'll add background white border radius of 4 pixel also we'll add font size for my font size i'm going to give it 14 pixel margin Font weight 500. Also, we'll add transition 5 second cursor to be pointer. Next is 
I'm going to add a hover effect on our span tag. So by doing that, just say hover, span hover, okay? So here I'm going to add background color. That will be, I'm going to add a color 9. Next, copy this. So this time, let's do our colors. So I'm going to add width of 20 pixel. Also, we'll add height of 20 pixel. Background. border radius margin border 2 pixel solid white Next, I'm going to say container card. So this time we're going to add nth child again. Also, I'm going to choose the class color. And again, I'm going to add for our span tag, I'm going to add nth child. Here I'm going to say nth child 2. I'm going to give it a value of 2. And I will add a background. Again, copy the all of this. So we're going to change the value of our child to be three. Also, I'm going to change my color. Next, again, add another end child. This will be, I'm going to give it the value of four. Also, we're going to change our background. Again, say container. Card. Content. So this time, I'm going to style my, um, what is it called, the button. So I'll just say anchor tag. The A means the anchor tag. So for this one, I'm going to add position to be relative. Top. I'm going to give it a top of 10 pixel. Also, we'll add display to be inline block. Next, I'm going to add padding. 12 pixel by 30 pixel. Also, we're going to add background. Next, we'll add is font weight, 600. Also, I'm going to add letter spacing of one pixel. Text decoration to be none. For my text transform, I'll give it uppercase. Next, I'm going to add some hover effect on our button. So simply copy this and paste it here and add hover. So for this one, I'm going to add background color. So now save your file. Go back to your web browser, reload it. Now we are going to try if it's working, so I'll just hover my uh, pointer here. So you see for our size there's something wrong, yeah, there's no color that's changing. But our button is okay. Now come back to your VS Code. Now we're going to check our size.
now let's see if now it's working just refresh you can see now it's working when you can see where this where the size now you can hover the size of the shoe there's some background color and our button is perfectly working now guys we have completed creating this to, to uh, pro, uh, glass movies in product card using only html and css so you can see now uh, this tutorial is very helpful for beginners now if you want to add this on your website you can add to your website to your e-commerce website whatever uh, website you're creating So guys, if you think this video was very helpful, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow for more. So till next time, bye.